And while most presidential hopefuls are keen to project an approachable image to engage with a wide spectrum of voters, one conservative candidate kept the focus on an issue close to his heart, national security. It's an issue that Hong Junpyo believes is a vote-winning strategy at a time of heightened inter-Korean tensions. For this and more on the other major candidates' activities, Shin Semin reports. The Liberty Korea Party's candidate Hong Junpyo is campaigning on a quote strong Korea, and he's not taking the day off. Hong pitched his hardline stance on security to voters on Wednesday, listing several ways he hopes to keep the nation safe. We can never permit a single attempt against our national security. I will not tolerate any type of provocation that could hurt the stability or well-being of the Korean people. More specifically, he plans to include restoring the nuclear balance of power on the peninsula by redeploying American tactical nuclear weapons to the south, overhauling the nation's defense posture through an aggressive deterrence policy, setting up a special marine warfare unit to better counter threats like North Korea's potential processing of biochemical weapons. Also, ensuring a ironclad Korea-U.S. alliance, and that's where a key meeting comes in. Hong on Wednesday became the first candidate to meet with Mark Knapper, charged of affair at the U.S. Embassy in Seoul. The two affirmed their will to maintain the allies' strong bilateral relations, saying the two countries will go together 100 percent. They also agreed that it's important for the embassy to listen to Korean voters and the candidates running for the top job. Meanwhile, the Democratic Party of Korea's Moon Jae-in met with the former head of the Korean Council for Reconciliation and Cooperation, a key ally of former President Kim Young-sam, a move aimed at building more conservative support. The People's Party's An Chersu, on the other hand, stopped by the Federation of Korean Trade Unions, consulting with workers and listening to their concerns. Some towing the party line, some pushing hard with their own agenda. It's another day on the campaign trail, but for the contenders, it's one of fewer than 20 days left before the big election day. Shin Semin, Arirang News.